Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If you are of the defensive persuasion, this game is right in your wheelhouse. Linebackers and safeties who want to come downhill, get involved in the running game, and stick their faces in the fan. I'm glad I'm safe behind the studio desk. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. for another college football brouhaha. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. South Carolina is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 26. So let's see what the defense can do as they come out onto the field. On the ground with the tailback. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. First down grab by the receiver, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Arkansas has got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. First and ten, ball on the 38. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll make it second and four. Great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Looking for his man, incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. It's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Fires 
split. Tipped. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick. You've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. Tenth play of the drive. And he tackles him hard at the five. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. This is the 12th play of this drive. Hey, come on, oh, come on, oh. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Hey, it. Up, up, up. Touchdown, Razorbacks. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. converts the extra point. A 12 play, 74 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Williams from the nine, right down at the 31 yard line. The Gamecocks have been talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome, and I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 31-yard line, second down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 45. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Right in left, right in left. Three down, three down. High five, high five. Ready, Ready. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle around the 44-yard line. Call the game 11 yards. First down. From the 44-yard line. First down. Fires it out. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. And for Barbour, he raises his season receiving yardage to 1,000. No disrespect to the receiver. I mean, 1,000 yards is an incredible number no matter what. But don't forget about the quarterback who's been throwing the football and making great throws all year. A lot of credit should go to him. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. is caught the defense lays him out number 25 makes the tackle at the 10 yard line that makes it second and six man left man left we're going down we're down we're going to 88 we're going to 88 high five high five runs outside for a nice game that's a game of seven on the play that makes it first and ten it's first and ten Ball on the 13-yard line. And down he goes at about the 13. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tackle made right around the 10-yard line. 
Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. Arkansas leads it 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. High five. Let's go. Right, right. Three, three, three. Just throws this one away. Three, get him, get him. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. It's up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. South Carolina gets set to kick this one away. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Arkansas holds a four-point lead. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. From their own 39-yard line, first down. throw out to the receiver incomplete here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away they'll bring him down at the 48 So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Makes it out to about the 43. Three-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Taken down around the 13-yard line. Arkansas is up four. And they make the stop at the four-yard line. That brings up second and one. And this play is number eight on the drive. Run up the middle. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Arkansas. Tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calls on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 
14-3. From the seventh, he makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. That brings them second and five. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. result you always want on the last drive let's see if it happens again and it was a really nice drive too brad the quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense and he is drilled at the 38 yard line they don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper a loss of one that'll bring up second and 11. it's second and 11. Ball on their own 38. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds around the 50-yard line. play there yeah this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game it's second down and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker throws it in a hurry Brought down to the open field seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, Razorbacks. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 61-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Game. The score now, 21-3. Williams has it at the five. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Young struggles here in the first half seem to have also impacted the entire team, and you would expect that, I guess, Herbie. They're really having a difficult time getting anything going now as we head into halftime. I mean, you hate to put everything on one guy. It has put all the pressure on his shoulders. 
but in this case, it's clear to me that without him leading the way, that this football team is just lost. and i think the coaching staff has got to be concerned there's still a whole nother second half to be played. but what kind of adjustments can they make to be able to make changes here to the results here of this football game in the second half? jimmy i think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. here we go! ryan sixty eight! he fights forward to about the thirty three. bring on the punt team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Kelly awaits the snap. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Arkansas's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Arvin. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's a football to be played. Under heavy pressure, and he's going to be sacked. Loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. He gets rid of this one. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. throw out to the receiver. Very good tackle in space. The Razorbacks, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Going long. He's got a touchdown. by the wide receiver and not to take anything away from the quarterback but the wide receiver made this play you knew they had to dial up something big but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play and he adds the extra point a four play 56 yard drive and they put up seven points so our score 28-3 We played a half of football. Arkansas leads it 28-3. Reese, David, wish you were here instead of Kirk and I. We start the second half in this lopsided ball game. And he's taken down at the 27. The Razorbacks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle the 38-yard line. First down. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. That brings him second and five. He's got it with room to run. 
And he tackles him hard at the 40. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. That's good for a five yards. That makes it second and six. Picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Young gets a handoff to the right. He's tapped 16. First down. From the 13 yard line. Second down. Swings it out left to the halfback. And they push him out around the 10 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. Good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Cougars roll into today's game ranked number six in the nation. And for Houston, a win today gives them nine wins on the season. And for Clark, he's caught one for a touchdown. And for South Carolina, they're going to need to take care of their business should that score hold up. Otherwise, there's going to be a fall in the BCS standings. They line up to kick this one away. Miller from the three. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Quick strike to the receiver, and down he goes at the 35-yard line. That's a nice six-yard gain. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. They're about four yards away here on second down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Bring him down around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Room around the corner. Sheds that one. 
He's at the 30, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 22. A run like that usually ignites the offense. So let's see if they can stay on a roll. First and 10, let's see if they can build off that great run. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Gets out to about the 21. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. A little toss across the middle. And he's taken down right around the 16-yard line. On the tackle at the 16-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. It's up, and he's got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Somebody is going to get fried. SMU and TCU in the battle for the iron skillet. These two teams hate each other. The Horned Frogs are on top, 7-0. In other games, the Cougars take the field in this game, ranked number six. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Cougars unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. The Cougars on top, 21-14. It's 31-6 in this one. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the seven. He's taken down at the 33. A whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Catches it, and that's all. Well, Herbie, we really didn't see this one coming. Total dominance through three quarters. Arkansas leads it 31 6. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. Aaron and out long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Hold this. Runs outside for a nice game. Game is six on the play. That makes it first and ten. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. My five. Tackle made at about the 45. That's a deep one. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. run there well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down you work so hard as a defense 
to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. That brings them second and This is the eighth play of this drive. Green to the receiver, nothing doing. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. This is the 10th play of this drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Brought down at the 13-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. First and 10, ball on the 13. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires quickly and they got it, touchdown. And for Barbour, he now owns the school's record for touchdown catches in a career. I don't think this record has come easily for him, but he looks just as quick and as he did when he first got here. He's got a lot of great football left in him. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review of the, the play, the ruling, the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wildcats come into today's game ranked second in the land. And for Kansas State, they're shooting for their 10th win in a row. The Wildcats are out front, 14-10. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you can ever expect that to happen, though. And down he goes at the 47. The Gamecocks came in here with a nationally ranked defense. They haven't looked like a nationally ranked defense to me. They're playing with the normal focus that we've seen from this team. We've seen backs at times that are breaking open. Wide receivers are making plays over the top of defensive backs. They're just not as dialed in as they normally are. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Just under two to go in the game. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And they finally knock him out at the 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Starks hits it on the inside. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Splits the uprights with the extra point. With a three-play, 47-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick.
He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. South Carolina's coaches are going to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, but the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be <laughs> hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. And he's leveled at the 39 yard line. From their own 39-yard line, first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. It's picked up. Tackle at the 34. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. Arkansas is winning big. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets out to around the 18. Today we saw a game that wasn't even close. 38-13, Arkansas. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying...